We're here in studio with Errol Blackwood. We're going to talk to him about what he's been up to. Yes. I know uh, a lot of you know him as one of Canada's great musicians. I know him as that. And I'm sure you'll enjoy hearing what he's got to say. Hi, Errol. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. No, I appreciate you coming. <laughs> nice to be here on Reggae Television Network. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. That's great. So, um, you you are you're working hard, aren't you? You you're out there putting out a lot of. Uh, this is your new um, CD. Music, yeah, music. I've been writing a lot of songs and and I'm releasing some this this uh, latest mm -hmm. um, Love Is Out and uh, the one before that uh, is Family Tree mm -hmm. and before that uh, Waking Up the Dream and Warrior. Oh, that's great. So the first time I saw you was with the group Messenger. Tell Messenger. me about what's happening there now. Well, Messenger, um, they, everybody went different ways, you know. Mm -hmm. But Messenger went on after me for a while. And, um, I still talk to Gigi I, I hear him every once in a while we talk, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about whether we'll tour, but we'll probably do some work together. Oh, that would be great, because you guys were great together. You made good yeah. music together. You got to come back together for the, for the diehard fans like Jump me. session. Oh, man, you got to come back. I hope I can get all of you in here one day. Yeah. 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 So you've been you've, you've done a solo, you've done many solos. So this is Yeah, I have a band, but um, yeah, but I'm a solo artist because uh, I travel different places. Sometimes I have to play with different bands, but I still play with the original drummer from Messenger, uh -huh. and now uh, Ray Ruddock, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. his son is um, the drummer now. Mm -hmm. Ray play keyboard now, wow. and his son play drums. So family affair. Still in the family. Oh man, <laughs> what, 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 are you guys any date books for any anything coming Actually, up soon? Actually, we're playing. Um, we're doing something on twenty third in Toronto Island. Mm. It's it's the Etobicoke it, it Yacht Club they presented. The Etobicoke Yacht Club. Yeah, it's a private. Well, I think it's semi-private. It's public. Welcome. It's a private club that welcomes the public. The public for that one. For yeah. that one, that event. Yeah. And you're playing there when on the twenty third. The twenty third, yeah. Of of June. June. Yeah. Well, you hear <laughs> that? Oh, the twenty third of June. I I'm certainly gonna try and be there. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but you, you not only do music, you do a lot of stuff too, don't you? Yeah, well, um, a few of my songs, like, uh, I have a song right now, you heard of the documentary called Rasta, produced by Patricia Scarlett, uh, she's from Toronto here too, mm -hmm. and Colleen Robinson, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's um, narrated by star in Donisha, mm. uh, Bob Marley's granddad. Oh, um, lovely. I'd uh, love to meet her someday. Yeah, mm. you probably will too because oh, she comes here often. Oh. And um, they're promoting the, the Rasta movie now, mm -hmm. which is um, one of my songs, Valley of Life. Oh, yeah. Is, is going to be in it. Oh, that's terrific. Uh, yeah. So, this movie's coming out, this documentary's coming out when? It's already premiering. It's, it's premiering? just, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Where can people see it? Well, it was at the Ram in February oh. for like the whole month. I hope you didn't. I hope but people come, didn't miss it. Come back again. But if you go to um, if you go to Rasta, a soul's journey. Rasta, a soul's journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you will. Um, and that's on the internet. Yeah. Oh. A Rasta journey, you will find it. Yeah. Oh, terrific. Yeah. Well, it's really great. So you um, you are a family man as well, aren't you? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I've been with them here. Uh. Well, they're all grown now, you know. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Um, but you've got your great family with you and the boys are doing great. Everybody's doing fine. Uh, that's yes. terrific. Well, Errol, I... I'm, um, I, I, I'm working on a thing called uh, uh, Skipper's Cafe. Oh. Uh, See, Errol, 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 Errol is going gonna, is gonna to be um, a contributor here at, at, at Reggae Television Network. And he's, he's working on an idea that I'm sure you're going to love it. So yeah, he, he's going to talk to you about this idea right now. But I love it. It's called Skipper's Cafe. Yeah. And I can't wait to get started on this wonderful idea with Errol. So listen to what he's talking about now. Well, uh, a few years back in 2006, mm -hmm. um, there's uh, some producers in, in um, Austria. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, uh, the Alex Alexander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, he, he's a film producer. and. Uh, he, he heard my song, uh, my voice from a song I did. Uh, it was a CBS film called Sweating Bullets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, 
so I, I did the theme song for that. Mm -hmm. So he searched me down on the internet to find who did that song. Wow. <laughs> and it's a guy named Fred Mullin that wrote the song and, mm -hmm. I, and I sing it. So he wanted that same voice for his, his online movie which was called uh, Paradise Island. Wow. So he asked me to write a song mm -hmm. for Paradise Island. And I, I wrote a song called Paradise Island. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, uh, Paradise, the song called. Uh -huh. And so um, at the film release now, they, they invited me to Austria. Uh -huh. um, during that time, I was working on this thing called Skipper's Cafe. Uh -huh. And then when I told um, Alex about it, the, uh -huh. the producer, he, he he was really interested in it. As know. I was when you told yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he wanted to even come here to Canada to mm -hmm. film it. Mm -hmm. But that, that was in 2006, 2007, and then he got busy and I got busy. Yeah, well, so, I hope we can we certainly still want work to together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, I, I love the idea. You yeah. got a, a bunch of musicians or... Yeah, or, I invite other musicians yeah. and we, we jam together. Yeah, and cook together, you yeah, say? Yeah, cook. And, different genres of music Aww. and we have a yeah we have the chef and we have a whole crew of people <laughs> Easy. you know you know you know Keith Richards we don't have you? the hostess yeah, yeah. Keith Richards I, I met him in Jamaica mm -hmm. he, he have a house in Ocho Rios. wow and um the, a friend of mine <clears throat> Neville mm -hmm. he's the guy who takes care of that house so they met each other from the 60s and their wow. friends. When they were just getting started? Yeah, when the, the first time the Stones went to Jamaica. Peter Tosh and Mick Jagger. Right, yeah, friends. yeah. And, and Peter is my cousin, that right. I told and you. Peter was at the same house, the same house where I was. Really? Yeah, because I, I stayed here when I, when I go to Jamaica sometimes, I go there. Mm -hmm. I don't sleep in Keith's room. It's locked off. Of course. That's proper private. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. But yeah, I, um, that time me with them was small. Mm -hmm. and we went down just on a, a on December holiday. And um, um, my wife, mm -hmm. and he, he met my whole family. Mm -hmm. And he figured that I, he, I don't know what, what, he, what gave him the idea, but mm -hmm. he thought I was his neighbor. So he said, hi, neighbor. <laughs> And then I introduced him to Jackie and you know my my youths mm -hmm. and sit there talking for a while. They give me a spliff and, <laughs> and a beer. A good and, herb, yes. And, yeah, and we reason, you know. Mm -hmm. And the, I we, I didn't know he like he was telling Jackie how he you know he gets off a tour mm -hmm. and he have to play again. So he he have another band in Jamaica that he jam with. Really? You know, that that time I, I wasn't into guitars as much because I'm a bass player, but mm. but now I I have my collection of oh, guitars. Oh, guitar player. And, and if I bring one to him, mm. man, if yeah. I have a guitar I want to bring, I know he's going to want that. Wow. <laughs> he's a great guitar player. You're a great guitar uh, player. No, he's, he's a great... I no, know. I'm, no, I know. I'm, he's legend. I'm he's just legend. a songwriter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't play guitar. I, I just hold cards. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I, I, I yeah. heard you playing, so I just figured you played. No, I just use guitar for writing songs. For writing songs? But I play a bass on stage. Oh, that's right. That's what I saw you play, yeah. the bass. Yeah. Oh, I love the bass. Yeah. Oh, man, that's great. So, Skipper's... Uh, cafe. cafe, yeah. Wow, Look out for it, and it's gonna be in your network too. Oh yes, for sure. <laughs> I mean, we want to carry it here because I know how great it sounds. And I yeah, really and there's, you know, I'll, I'll start with because mm -hmm. a part of the the concept is like I, I tour Canada, mm -hmm. you know, east west, mm -hmm. and I, I meet just in small towns. You know, mm -hmm. you meet you meet some guitar player that just want to jam and. You go and you hear them jam and you're like, man, these guys are like great musicians. Yes. You know, and yeah. nobody will ever hear, hear them. them, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I would love to wow. tour Canada. So all you need is a camera and Yeah, tour and Canada and invite these people to the to, 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 to some of the cafes. Well, that we're gonna we play, make it yeah. happen because that sounds like a, a that make and people happy. Them. Yeah. That'll make people and we're we're about making people happy yeah, here. And, 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 and exposing work. Canadian talent too. Mm -hmm. you know, there's oh, yeah. there's a lot of talent that they do regular work mm -hmm. and they're great musicians and they're called weekend bands. Wow. I mean some of those bands are great. You know wow. Wow. you get them in and let them express themselves. They wow. need they need they need they, Canadian need to see them too. Yes, you will make everybody's life better. Yeah, and happier. Yeah, and happier. Yeah. Now, I'm a Rasta, and you're a Rasta, right? 
Yes. And that's that's something that's dear to our heart. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel? How do you feel about what's happening in in the world today? What what's going on? How you feel about that? Well, that's what I, I sing and write about now, mm -hmm. mostly. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But all I can say, you know, is that um, what I see is um, the people who are supposed to be compassionate, who are supposed to um, following Christ. Christians mean following Christ. Right. And um, people who follow Christ should should follow what Christ said. Mm -hmm. More important what Christ said than what anyone else anyone in else the said. Bible say. Yes. So if yes. you're going to follow what Christ say, and you got it covered. War is something that you wouldn't be involved in because yeah, war is against what Christ preached about. Mm -hmm. um, revenge yes. is not something you would be involved in. No way. Which is what war is about. Right. War is about you kill one of mine, I kill one of yours, right. and the killing keeps going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, Christ come in and say, no, in order to to um, to heal, mm -hmm. you have to learn to forgive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And forgiveness is not easy. It's nope. very hard to forgive That's for true. anybody. That's true. But in order to pass mm -hmm. the stage of of war right. and violence. Mm -hmm. For humanity to reach another level, mm -hmm. we'll have to learn to overcome that. Overcome you know? that. And hate, hate mm -hmm. and revenge is is something that Christ is against. Even when the, his enemies, the people who who crucify him, yeah. even them he prayed for. You know? pray for yeah. So the example of Christ is not is not um, is not going on war and to say you're fighting for Christ because this is what. All the wars is about. Mm -hmm. It's about. It's about. Um, we're fighting for peace. We're fighting for freedom. Mm -hmm. We're fighting for Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ don't need nobody to fight for. Him. No, he's already he done the fight. Yeah, he don't yeah. need nobody to go kill another person Absolutely or not. to be killed himself. Absolutely not. Um, for he did Christ. all the dying. He yeah. did all the bleeding. He did all right. the suffering. He did everything. Yeah. 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 So when Christians are sending their children to war mm -hmm. are are volunteering to go to war mm -hmm. and believe mm -hmm. that they're doing something mm -hmm. heroic mm -hmm. or something good for humanity mm -hmm. think again yeah. christ don't support that yeah and we shouldn't either because yeah. war is wrong yeah. killing is wrong yeah. the bible tell you that yeah. Yeah. killing is wrong absolutely and when you see what happened to soldiers mm -hmm. that go to war and when they come back mm -hmm. when you see what happened to their mind mm -hmm. it tells you that we're not we weren't born to to take each other's life. No. We're bound to live and love each I other. Love each other. Yeah. yeah. I, well, you know, I mean, it's great because that song, War, yeah. that His Majesty wrote as a speech, yes. by Marley put to music. Yes. Yes. I mean, that is really important because he says mm -hmm. that until the philosophy which holds one race superior, superior and yes. another inferior yeah. is discredited and abandoned, and then, there will be war. Right. So, All the first, to, to get rid of war, yeah. we have to. Get rid of the philosophy. Yes. And it's the philosophy that's killing people. people right. Because it's how you think. And, yeah, and what's the philosophy? What's the philosophy? The philosophy is you're a hero. You, yeah. Go kill somebody and you're a hero. Understand that. Yeah. And, but the, before, There's no before hero. That, yeah. I, I have a song. Mm. It's called There's No Glory in War. No. And no. it's about no. it's about suicide. It's yeah. about it's about what people would say a person go to to give his life, to yeah. give his life. Yeah. Because he believed that take Killing himself mm -hmm. to kill his enemy mm -hmm. is gonna bring him to a higher place. Higher place. And these are all doctrines. And so it said, don't be deceived by the doctrines mm -hmm. of hate, mm -hmm. because the life that you take mm -hmm. is no less than your own. Mm -hmm. And the, gr the grieving tears from my mother's eyes mm -hmm. is clear to see. Mm -hmm. There's no glory yeah. in war. No. No glory. No. No. Uh, but you know, here we have America's fighting war. Right. Um, Right, and, and most of the people who um, vote for these wars mm -hmm. are call themselves Christians. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible, the same Bible tells you that um, the multitudes, millions will be deceived. Mm -hmm. Because they believe, they really believe that going to war, they believe that there's an enemy and they have to go over there and kill them. Mm -hmm. And that's not Christ, that's not I the know. teachings of Christ. So to call yourself a Christian, and, and say you're going to war with a gun in your hand and a Bible in the other hand. Mm -hmm. 
That is, think about that. Yeah. That's antichrist. Yeah. That's not yeah. about yeah. Christ. Yeah. And that's not a, a hero. Mm -hmm. A hero don't do that. Yeah. Christ is a hero. Mm -hmm. A hero learn to forgive. That's not easy. That's yeah. the hardest thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting a gun is easy. Yeah. They, have, they have guys killing people um, in drones, what they call drones now. Mm -hmm. by, by this president right now. Mm -hmm. And they had a president. They sending people to go, a guy on a, on a, on a computer. Mm -hmm. With, just like how you play a video game mm. and he's actually looking at targets which is actual human beings. lives, I know. human beings mm -hmm. and what they do is they say well you kill 20 innocent people, mm. woman and child mm. but you get two bad guys mm. and that justifies it that justifies now imagine you do that in Canada yeah. right? Yeah. there's a bad guy in the house there mm -hmm. you go there and kill the whole family and you kill the bad guy come out there and see, see if we're going to praise you See if your ass don't go to jail for murder. What do you say about those people who say, if you don't show strength, these people think you're weak. And if they think you're weak, they're going to keep coming at you. What do you say to those people? The people, if you, what is strength? What is strength? Yeah, That's but, what you have to ask. But if they hit strength, you, is strength mm. showing that you can blow up a thousand family? Mm. Is that power and strength? Yeah. But if that's they, not power and that's not strength. But if they hit you and you don't hit back, what, and they say, oh, this person is weak. Well, what do you do well then you don't call yourself a Christian. Oh, dear. Because what, what did Christ say? Mm. These, you, if you call yourself a Christian, you can't go for war. So Christ say, said, turn the other cheek. cheek. Mm. Right? Mm. So you don't hit back. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to hit back, yeah. be a Muslim. <laughs> because that's what the Muslim teaches. Ooh. If somebody hit you, you hit them back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I don't disagree with that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, be what you are. But it, it causes don't strength. don't say you're a Christian. Don't lie mm -hmm. and say that you follow Christ. Mm -hmm. Because you don't follow Christ mm -hmm. if you commit war, if you commit murder, if you go and you kill, mm -hmm. if you go and you take revenge, mm -hmm. you're not a Christian. Well, you are a murderer. There you go. And if and the, and you come back and they worship you mm -hmm. and they give you medals. Mm -hmm. So the the song <laughs> the song says that. Yes. You know they they put medals on you. For, 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 for the killing of other people. It does sound barbaric, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, very barbaric. Yeah. So we're gonna change and it that. sounds more like the Old Testament because the Old Testament is very dreadful and yeah. unforgiving. Yeah. But, the, but the Old Testament is not what Christians call themselves. Yeah. They're under the New Testament. Yeah. Christ means Christian. I see. So, so oh, I see. I see. So I see the people saying. who are deceived by, by the devil, the yeah. Bible said they would be deceived. Yeah. These are the people who really believe that war mm. is, is to show your power, is to say, I am going to beat evil mm. with power and might. Wow. You can't beat evil with power and might. No. We have a couple you minutes can beat left. evil Less with the spirit minutes. of love, mm. 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 compassion. Right. Do, that's the power. That's the power. Forgiveness. I feel it. That's I the feel power. It. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. And you've heard. This, is, this has been Errol Blackwood talking to you about his passion, about his, his feelings, about his songs, his, his work, and of course, um, Skipper's Cafe that we're, you're going to be able to watch here on, on reggaetelevisionnetwork.com. And I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy to have you, and I'm so pleased, and I'm so the thankful. Best. I'm so blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you so much different. for coming and performing with us. He was also live on the show this morning, and if you miss him, you can see it on in our, in our rerun and enjoy it as we have. Thank you, Errol, for being yes. with us. Really, thanks. thank you. Give thanks for having me. Thank you. Big old RTN. Rastafari. <laughs>